Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a humongous Target haul. This is a collective haul and I pretty much have it on this video. I have clothing, makeup, hygiene, products random things is literally I have it all. I have no idea how long this video is gonna be so definitely grab a snack or watch this video when you're doing something because this is going to be a long video but I have tons of goodies and amazing product recommendations to share with you guys today and it feels like a nice little change for my usual perfume content so I just wanted to add in something a little bit different so I hope you guys enjoy it before we get into it please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on and let's get started. I literally have two humongous is bags right here and like I said this is very much collective so this is the things that I've bought within the past two three months so no I did not get all of this in one target trip but let's just get started so I think I'm gonna start off with clothing and then we're gonna get into the hygiene and the makeup and all that stuff so first thing are these little shoes these are just some little sandals I had a pair like this that I had gotten from Zara and as I was walking the little, like, there's, like, a little loop for your big toe. It, like, broke off, and I wear those shoes all the time, so I was like, I need another pair because these are just comfy. They don't have a huge heel, so you can literally walk in them all day. And I really like the fact that it had some little sparkles. It just added a fun little touch. And these were $29.99, but I'm pretty sure they had, like, a 20% off of their shoes kind of sale that day, so... They were decent. Okay, let's get into the clothing. This is gonna be try on just because I feel like if you show clothing, it kind of makes no sense if you don't actually show what it looks like on. So the first thing I got is this maxi skirt. So I'm not really one to wear maxi skirts, but I've been really getting into them recently. So I got this one because I really liked the color and the pattern. It just has some little flowers on it. And I liked the like navy blue with the pop of like pink in the flowers it just goes all the way down and i'm super short and the length of this is absolutely perfect for me it doesn't like drag on the floor it hits like right above my ankles and i feel like this is just such an easy outfit you can pair this up with like a basic white tee and you have yourself an outfit or you could dress it up whatever you want. target sweatpants are my favorite sweatpants ever i own so many different colors and different styles they're just so comfortable and they fit really well so i got this pair i'm pretty sure this was in like the pajama section because these are by stars above and i'm pretty sure that's like a sleepwear brand of Target. But these are like just nice, thick, sturdy sweatpants. And I got them in this hot pink color. I don't own any sweatpants in any color really. I think I have a red pair. But I usually just stick with like neutral colors when it comes to sweatpants. But I'm like, let's just get a fun color. And these are so soft on the inside. So we love those. This little two-piece set is so freaking cute. Now it's a two-piece set, but you have to buy them separately. It comes with the skirt and I'm pretty sure they had a couple like colors and patterns of these. This was definitely my favorite and I have no idea what this pattern is. It's a whole jumbled up mess. It has some like paisleys on it, but I don't know. It's just super flowy and it's actually not a skirt. It looks like a skirt, but it is actually shorts. It's just super comfortable. So this was $20. Target is, it, they're kind of reaching with their prices. But anyways, then they have this little top, which is not much of a top. It looks like a literal bra, but because the skirt is pretty high waisted, it doesn't look as intense when you have this on. They just pair so beautifully together and I really, really love this. The top was 18. This is another favorite. I don't think this is a two-piece, but I'm kind of putting them as two-piece because I feel like they just look good together. So they have these little tops. They're like one shoulder. I think they have this top in different colors as well. I'm pretty sure they have it in white and black, but I have so many white and black tops. So I was like, let me get it in red. And then they came out with a skirt that has this little detail here and then it has a huge slit it is a maxi skirt and i'm just putting them together because they're both red but they're two completely different like materials so i don't actually think they're meant to go together but i'm probably gonna wear them together or you can wear them separately and then this is another big favorite of mine right now it's this dress i saw this a lot on tiktok and i was like what like that looks really cute for target but target has been really stepping up their clothing game so it's a dress 
and I don't have any dresses in this color and I don't have any dresses in this like emerald green color it is maxi and it does have a slit but the way that this just fits is incredible it really really shapes you really really nicely and I'm trying to find any stains in it because I wore it the other day and we went out for like wine and charcuterie boards and I'm actually surprised that I didn't spill any wine on this because that's like a for sure thing if i go out i'm spilling some type of food on my clothes and this cute little dress how cute so it's like a flowy you could wear it off the shoulder and it has like little red flowers on it it's pink it's so flattering but what i love about it is that it's flowy but it cinches in the waist you'll see it better in the try on but it's such a pretty like feminine dress and for the summertime this is gonna be so fun and i got a pair of these i've been wanting a pair of flared leggings i guess these are considered so i finally found some they had some in stock because i feel like for the longest time they've been out of stock as you can see they flare out but they're really really flattering and just fit me really well so I'm glad I finally found a pair of these. Next, I just have this little top. I love this top because it reminded me of Brazil, like the Brazil flag. And it's just super cute. Again, a fun pop of color that I'm gonna be wearing this summer. And then I got this. So these are technically pajamas, but if you're on TikTok, you've probably seen these floating around. And it's actually like a two-piece set, but I actually feel like you could wear this out and you could have this as like a swimsuit cover-up or just like a casual, chill, outfit for like the summertime but it's this linen set it's white i think they have it in a bunch of other colors as well but yeah so it comes with the shorts and then it comes with this button down that short sleeve it has like this beachy vibe to it which is what really reminds me of summer like i feel like i just imagine this outfit like with the button down being open and you have a cute bikini underneath and then these it's just a fun little beachy effortless outfit even though it's meant to be pajamas but i like it and it's kind of oversized i have it in extra small but it's like it fits very loosely which also kind of just gives that beachy effortless vibe so i have this pair of pants i ordered these online because i didn't see them in store but i really like them when i show you these look humongous because they're meant to just be super super baggy but they actually fit really well like in the waist. I'm a size double zero in the Target pants. But yeah, they just flare out to like <laughs> just humongous. And they're super, super wide. I really like baggy clothes. I don't know why. Like sometimes I feel more comfortable in baggy clothes than I do in really tight fitting clothes. I just like like the effortless vibes that baggy clothes give. Whenever I wear things like that, it looks like I like stole my husband's clothes, even though that would kind of be impossible because my husband is like 6'2 <laughs> and I'm 5'1". And then speaking of oversized, they had these oversized like t-shirts. I'm pretty sure they had a black one as well, but I got this white one and this was only like 12 bucks. I have this gorgeous dress. It's in red and it has like a square neckline. And it is a maxi dress, so it goes all the way down, but it has a nice slit, which I love. Because I just love, like, the sexiness that a slit on the side gives. And then, my favorite part is definitely the back, because it is open back. And I love anything that's open back. If you watch my videos and you see, like, my any of my clothing hauls, you already know that. Then I got this. I actually bought this before I went on my cruise, because I was just looking for, like, some fun bathing suit cover-ups. And I found this top, which looks like just, like, a graphic tee, but it has some fringe at the bottom. And I actually wore this a lot on my cruise as just, like, a cover-up t-shirt and it's really comfortable really cute it has like a distressed sort of vibe to it i have no idea what it says poison it says poison i, I don't know then from universal thread i bought these two little t-shirts i don't know what it is with me in this really bright almost neon green color but i'm really into it it looks even more neon on camera than it does in person but i just like i'm really into this color i feel like it's really flattering on my skin tone something about it and then in the same top i got it in red it's like a reddish almost orangey coral color it kind of looks different on camera but i mean you can never go wrong with just like basic 
tees and I have all the neutral colors so I'm like let me get some fun colors then I got a little pair of shorts I also brought these to my cruise I wore them like on our way there and they're really really comfortable what can I say this is a little jumpsuit it's kind of like ribbed material is really soft and my favorite part is definitely the open back it's kind of hard to see because it's black but you'll see it in the try on and I really love the neckline of it it's really really flattering it kind of has a square neckline i feel like square necklines i don't know what it is about them but they're just really 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 flattering to your girls then i have this dress every time i see this dress i think of tinkerbell <laughs> because it reminds me of like a tinkerbell dress like tinkerbell goes to prom so this is like halter so you just tie it around your neck and it is pretty long but it has like a pretty dramatic slit and then the bottom kind of is like asymmetrical and it's just like a really flowy material and it just makes me feel like a little fairy so i really love this it's just like a kind of more like a classy dress and because it's a halter again you can show off your back. last item is a pair of jeans these jeans i wish i could find the name of these for you guys but i've already worn them so i took it off but if i do find it i'll leave it on the screen this is the most flattering the most amazing pair of jeans ever they fit amazing they're kind of baggy but they're not too baggy they're just a perfect pair of jeans like every woman needs this pair of jeans so if i could find the name oh it's right here all right these are the super high rise straight jeans and they look like this they have some distressing they're really wrinkly right now because i've already worn and washed these and then just stuck them in this bag so they're super super wrinkly they don't look the best at the moment but you'll see in the try on they're really really flattering and i've been on the hunt for like a nice pair of straight leg jeans and because i'm so petite that's kind of hard to find for my measurements and these are perfect okay so clothing is all done now let's move on to the makeup hygiene and just all the miscellaneous items that are in here this bag is actually like heavy i'm just gonna grab randomly and show you guys so first i was on the hunt for a good probiotic and i did a lot of research on this specifically and this seems to be the best probiotic for women it just has all the right bacteria strains that you need and it helps with vaginal health, immune health, and digestive health, and I have a lot of digestive issues. I don't know why I've just dealt with them for years. I've only been taking these for like two days, so I can't say that they've, you know, changed my life drastically, but from what I heard and the reviews, it had really amazing reviews. So if you're a woman and you're in need of a good probiotic, I recommend this Garden of Life brand and you can get it at Target. I got two of these masks. I'm a sucker for like the little knickknacks that they have and I've been really in like a pampering kind of mood lately. So I just love the idea of just a sheet mask. They're by this brand Loops and this one is a detoxifying mask and this is a rejuvenating mask. So that's fun. I got two palettes. I love eyeshadow palettes. I have an unhealthy collection of eyeshadow palettes. You don't even want to know how many I have that I've been collecting ever since I started wearing makeup. So the first one I got is the Sigma palette. So I was in Target one day and I saw that they had Sigma now and I'm like what? I've never owned anything um, by Sigma before but i've always heard of it so i was like let me pick up a palette and this was definitely my favorite colorway because it's just like earthy neutrals i really love this green as you can kind of tell i've already used this once and i really like it the pigmentation on all these is amazing and i just love like the earthy vibe to it this is the ivy eyeshadow palette i'm pretty sure they had like other colorways but this was my personal favorite. And then if you don't know, they also carry ColourPop now. They have kind of like a limited collection of ColourPop, but they have some nice ColourPop products. So I got this palette because it's just so pretty. Like the purple vibes. I'm really into purple eyeshadows because I find them really flattering on my eye color. My eyes are like, they're like a brown, but they have a little hint of hazel in them. And purple just looks really, really nice. So these are the colors. Like how pretty is this little blue up here? And they're so freaking pigmented. I've already used this one as well. And it's called the In A Daze palette. Okay, it is much later. Uh, my makeup is looking really expired. My hair is a mess. Everything's a mess. But we're going to continue this video. So I have no idea where I left off. So I'm just grabbing things out of this bag and showing you. So next, I got a new lotion. 
This is the Flamingo Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I've actually seen this a lot. I used to work at Target, which I've said in previous videos, and I would see this all the time. This was like a bestseller kind of product. Like I feel like I would stock this like every single day, but I was recently kind of in the market for a new lotion and this is so good. And the smell of it is actually really, really nice. It's like a soft kind of floral scent, but in such a pretty like feminine way. Oh, it smells so, so good. It's really, really light. It's not anything crazy where it's going to interfere with any scent that you put on top of it. But I just hear really good reviews on this as far as it being really, really moisturizing. So this has squalene for hydration, white willow bark, and papaya extract for exfoliation. So it does a little bit of everything. And it actually says it has notes of vetiver and bergamot. It says in the back, fresh and subtle, not too floral or sweet. It's kind of just like... A perfect scent it's really really pretty and i got a new highlight this master chrome highlighter by maybelline is really good i've already used this as you can see i already have the molten gold one that one's like an og and i love it it makes me feel like a bronze goddess every time i wear it but this one is the rose gold and it just has like pinky sort of like champagne tone to it which is really pretty and these are like intense highlights and they are so affordable then i got a gloss by maybelline this is their like filter gloss i have a bunch of these i love this formulation it's a really good dupe for the fenty glosses which i also love and this is kind of like the closest i found at the drugstore this one specifically is in the color brass it kind of reminds me of nars orgasm like that type of color where it has some gold some pink into it kind of like reflective and it smells amazing kind of boring but i got some makeup wipes always need these on hand i got a new setting spray i've been hearing really good things about this elf one it's the stay all night micro fine setting mist and it supposedly stays up to 16 hours i got this because i kept seeing uh videos on tiktok of this being a really good dupe for the urban decay all nighter setting mist which i'm kind of getting low on and i've had it for a really long time so i'm thinking i should probably just throw it away so i wanted to buy this because i honestly don't feel like spending the money on however much the urban decay one was just like for a mist so yeah i'm gonna try this one out it has really good reviews so i have high hopes this is actually a repurchase for me this is the eos vanilla cashmere the very very famous eos lotion that smells amazing it smells like vanilla buttercream frosting oh it's so good this honestly smells like what vanilla be noel smelled like in the good old days when it actually smelled good not the new formulation where now it just smells weird and it doesn't last and all of that this is like what og vanilla be noel by bath and body works used to smell like and it's so good it's so creamy literally vanilla buttercream frosting like if you want to smell like that buy this okay then i have another lotion i'm sorry i have a lot of lotions in this video but i love me a good lotion and this one i actually did not get from target but i'll just include it in this video i actually got this from whole foods and it's like this natural sort of lotion but the smell is what really got me this is by the nubian heritage brand and this is the patchouli and buridi body lotion supposedly it's toning and uplifting i didn't read much about that but it has really really good oils in it but i feel like the star of this lotion is just how fragrant it is this scent reminds me so much of angel by thierry mugler and i actually really like the smell of angel i don't own angel in my collection because it's kind of a lot but i did recently buy on amazon the angel body cream which is so beautiful that gives me all the nostalgia vibes because growing up my cousins used to wear it all the time and like every time i saw that lotion i just thought it was the prettiest packaging ever and this honestly smells a lot like it so if you're into angel then this is a good dupe to that body cream now that body cream is like 10 times more fragrance it's literally like perfume in a body cream it's so so powerful this is not that powerful it's kind of like a tamer version of angel but it smells very very similar so just want to let you guys know i know that not a lot of people love angel out there but i also know that there's a lot of people that have angel as like their signature scent so if that's you then i highly recommend that lotion it was also like a really good price next i have a body wash so this is by the candy shop sort of collection 
by Native, and this is specifically in Strawberry and Vanilla Taffy, and this smells so so good pretty much exactly what it sounds like it's very very heavy on that strawberry scent and then the vanilla taffy almost has like the strawberries and cream kind of gives me a vibe honestly to strawberry pound cake by bath and body works and these native body washes are really really nice i've used them in the past they have tons of amazing scents and this is definitely i mean i haven't actually showered with it it's brand new but it smells amazing so i have high hopes for this smelling amazing in the shower okay i can never go to target and not pick up some sort of jewelry so i got these little earrings i have a ton of these little gold hoops i literally have some that i'm wearing right now these are like my everyday but i always lose mine or like they're literally in every crevice of my house because i just take them off in random places and i set them down then i forget about them and i'll literally find them in my laundry sometimes like just floating around so these earrings are kind of everywhere but these ones i really liked because i like the chunkiness of them they're pretty thick but they're actually pretty light usually with earrings that are thick like this they're like really heavy and i hate when earrings weigh my ears down so these ones are really nice and they have three little sizes of them so i'm gonna put these down because they're very loud oh, this is also not from target i'm sorry i think i just threw a bunch of products in this bag but this is also i got this on that same trip at whole foods these are these little fragrance oils they're by the brand kumba made i actually have a ton of these in my collection i have egyptian musk which i really love i have persian garden that one is great but vanilla bean is so good it is straight up vanilla bean this smells like the vanilla extract that you cook with and these fragrance oils last like you may look at this little thing and be like um that's super tiny but you need the tiniest amount and you literally smell as if you put like 50 sprays of any regular perfume because it's a concentrated fragrance oil so you literally just need like a dab i do some behind my ears and like my wrist just like my pulse points and i literally smell like this all day it literally like you will smell like vanilla bean creamy vanilla delicious and then i got this little necklace from a new day i'm sorry this haul is so all over the place i'm going from like lotion to perfume to jewelry to makeup to like literally everything i'm just pulling things out of this bag so i'm sorry that it's not very organized but this is just like a fun unorganized video this necklace is kind of tangled at the moment but it is really cute if i can get it untangled okay it's like a two layered necklace and it has these little crystals on it i usually don't get a lot of silver jewelry because i usually wear a lot of gold but i'm like you know what let's change it up and they also didn't have this necklace in gold and i really really liked it so i wanted to just get it i got two lip products by pixie this one is this collagen lip gloss and i already tried this this is so 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 nice so it's advertised as a lip gloss but to be honest this feels like a really really moisturizing and amazing lip balm that has a really glossy finish so it's kind of the best of both worlds this has acacia collagen and peptides it kind of honestly reminds me of that road like the Hailey bieber um whatever it's called i have no idea it's like this road lip something kind of reminds me of that i've never owned that but i feel like i don't know just the advertising of this is not like just a basic lip gloss it actually has some you know nourishing properties in it and then for an actual lip gloss with color in it i got this lip lift max glossy lip in the color honey sheen i've been watching juicy jazz here on youtube recently like all her makeup videos like i'm obsessed and she talks about this gloss all the time. It's just like a perfect nude gloss that you can top off so many lip combos with. And it just looks amazing. I wear nude lip combos like 9 out of 10 times that I do my makeup. But I thought that would be really nice. And then also inspired by Juicy Jazz, I got this e.l.f. O-Face Satin Lipsticks. These are like the new um, lipsticks that e.l.f. dropped. And I was watching again some of her videos. And she was talking about this shade specifically. And like I said, I love a nice nude lip. So this one is in the color No Doubt. And it looks like that. It's honestly, I don't know how it's going to be on the um, actual lips. But it's kind of like a deeper nude, which is nice. Because I have a lot of lighter nudes. So I think that'll be a nice little change. Speaking of lip products, I got this NYX 
lip pencil in nude beige i'm pretty sure i saw somebody on tiktok do like a lip combo with this so i was like let me get it these nyx lip liners are amazing if you're looking for like a, an affordable lip liner nyx is the way to go right, we're coming down to the last three products i have this elf metallic eyeshadow i have a ton of these in just <clears throat> a bunch of different colors but this one is like a really nice pink color it's in the shade little dipper and look how freaking pretty that is just like a sparkly pink eye liquid eyeshadow and lastly i have two color pop products again these are the like part of target color pop products that they're selling now so i finally bought this color pop bronzer i heard about these for so long and I think Ulta now carries these, or maybe they don't. Maybe they do now, but I know that for a while they didn't carry these, and I always wanted to try these ColourPop bronzers. So when I saw that Target had them, I immediately bought it. I bought the shade Silver Strand Beach, and it's super, super soft. These honestly kind of remind me of the Fenty bronzers a little bit. Just kind of like the feel of these. I haven't tried it, but we'll see once I do. And then last but not least, I have a Super Shock blush. So obviously what drew me to this was this amazing color. This is like, I don't even know how to explain this color. It's like pinkish purple kind of color. And I don't know what it is with me in these colors lately, but I've been really getting into them. So it is that swatch right there. I don't know what to call this color, but it's honestly like one of my favorite colors at the moment. It's like the perfect mixture of really bright pink and with like a little bit of purple added in there. It just reminds me of like a Barbie shade. And that finally concludes this huge Target haul. I know it was a lot. I hope you guys were doing something in the duration of this video because yeah, it's, it's a lot. If you stayed up until this point, leave the rose emoji in the comments and I will know who my super loyal subscribers are. So comment down below if you stayed up until this point. But okay, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and stay tuned for more hauls coming up. After this, I'm gonna do Walmart haul. I've been shopping a lot lately. Well, not lately, in like the past two to three months, very collectively, but it's just taking me a while to get around to making these videos. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.